Hi everybody, so in this video I'm going to show you how you can add more of the new weapons that are coming to DAISY in 1.17 which is the Longhorn Pistol, which you can see in this picture and you can just about see the new Savannah uh, CR550 um, civilian kind of sniper rifle, hunting rifle and there's the P1 Pistol as well, which is a bit like a Walther PPK So relatively easy to do all you need to do is hop on over to your nitrado um, web interface for your servers go into the web interface for the particular server that you want to add more of these weapons to go into your file browser on the left hand side and then what you want to do is go into the missions folder uh, ps missions for playstation xb missions for xbox and it, on pc it just says missions you got to dig down a little bit to get to it and then if we're doing a churnerous um server it's uh, offline.chernerus if it was Livonia it would be offline.enoch and we click on this one and then we go into the db directory which is this one here and we click on there and then what we're interested in is the types.xml file now you can edit this on the web um, using the web interface at Nitrado. Kind of recommend you kind of stop the server, um, download the file, then open it up in your favorite text editor. Um, that way you've kind of got a backup as well. So what I tend to do is download it. So you download the file to your download folder computer, copy it to your working folder. So you've got two copies locally and then edit it. And that's basically how, how I do it. And then once you've downloaded it and you open it in your favorite text editor, Notepad++ highly recommended. Now we need to increase them. So let's start off with the Savannah. Now the Savannah is that although it's the CR550 when you look at the um, the prompts on the screen, it's called the CZ550 in the types file. So if we do find next, so CZ5550, so there it is. So if we want to add some more CZ550s, um, we can increase the nominal and we can increase the minimum. So you might want to increase the nominal to say 10 and the minimum to say eight. If we look at the flags, we can see that it's only counted on the map. As soon as a player picks one up, it will then be respawned into the world. This is a common thing that's happening with a lot of um, uh, a lot of loot now. And, it, and, it, and it's great because it means that even people who are hoarding stuff or if you've got dupers on a server, doesn't really matter because as soon as they pick it up and then put it in their storage, another one is going to um, spawn in. Um, as you can see here, its uh, category name is weapons, its usage name is hunting and tier three and tier four. So it's only really found to the um, northwest on Chernerus or towards the south in um, uh, Livonia. So if you were to copy the tier three line, and then what we could do is we could add, say, tier two, like so. So that would spawn a little bit further to the southeast on Chernerus or further north on Livonia. And also, if we wanted it to be found, say, um, in villages as well, we could copy the village tag there, um, put that underneath the hunting bit. And there we've got, so now our CZ550s will not only be found in hunting places, so, you know, the hunting lodge or the hunting um, stands, um, it'll also be found in villages as well. It's funny when you do that, though, you just have to bear in mind that when you add a more usages, the weapons become more spread out, so sometimes it can be more difficult to find, where when it's just hunting and it's found in the hunting stands or the hunting lodges, um you can just hit those areas to look for it. So just bear in mind, you know, there's pros and cons for when you do this sort of thing. Um, you'll probably also want to find the mag for the CZ550. You've increased the number of um, uh, C, C, CR550 savannas. You want to increase the number of magazines as well, won't you? And remember, you can also change so the quant min and quant max. So we can change the nominal, nominal to, say, 15 and the minimum to say 10, so 15 of them should spawn in and they'll start respawning in when it gets down to 10. Quant min, if we put that up to 99, um, and quant max is 100, those magazines will spawn in full of bullets. Um, and then again, we could do the same thing with the usage name, we could add village and we could add tier two or tier uh, tier one, I guess, um, to the, uh, the value. So they would be found in easier places as well. So that's the CZ550. Uh, so next up, let's have a look for Control F. Let's have a look for the Longhorn. There she is. So this is the break action pistol. Uh, normally 15 of them on the server. You could increase that, I don't know, to 20, 25. Increase the minimum to, say, uh, 18. Again, it's only found 
on uh, on the map as soon as players pick them up um, it spawns another one in um, and again it's hunting weapon tier 2 tier 3 tier 4 so again what we could do is we could I, I do like to copy and paste this so let's find a village it's just so that I don't make the spell make a spelling mistake uh, close, close, close. There we go. So, use his name, village. So let's copy that. Scroll back down to the Longhorn. There she is. So let's add use his name as village. So now it's going to be found in hunting locations and village locations. The good old Longhorn. Um, we said we're going to increase, let's increase that to say 25. Increase the minimum to say 20. Um, break action. So don't really need a um, uh, the bullets doesn't doesn't make any difference so let's go now to look for the p1 pistol so search for p1 this is the one that kind of looks like a German um, uh, uh, Walther PPK or something like that like a James Bond gun uh, mag p1 eight round again normal thing so 35 of them spawn in the world minimum 25 quite a lot of them and then if we go down to there we go so there's the p1 itself 40 i mean that's quite a lot of these um it's found in town and villages tier three tier two so like a, a mid-level weapon easy to find Play, i think 40 of them is probably enough of them um so i i will probably stick to that so i tell you what while we're here why don't we also have a look how you can um add attachments to them as well so if you go up uh, to the main missions folder on your server and you download the CFG spawnable types.xml file that one there um, again have a copy in your download folder have a working copy you, you work on somewhere else and then if you open up the CFG spawnable types what we can do if you do control F let's have a look for the CZ550 there she is now your one won't look like this. Um, this is one I've this is one I've altered already. But this is the C five fifteen, and your one will probably, might say attachment chance um, 0.8, or it might say one and hunting optic chance 0.8, or something like that. If you change those both those numbers to 1.00, it means that the CZ five fifty will spawn in with a hunting optic already on it. And if you do the same for the um, the magazine so attachment chance equals 1.00 um, mag chance equals 1.00 that will then spawn in with uh, a magazine in it as well which is which is pretty cool um, and then if we do the same so look control f long horn again this is what i've done already so what i've done here is i've changed the attachment chance to 1.00 and 1.00 for the optics so of the long horns will spawn in with an optic and if you look down here we've got the p1 Attachment chance equals one for the pistol suppressor, uh, chance equals one, and for the magazine, one, a mag P1 eight round equals one. So these guns will spawn in the Longhorn with an optic and the P1 with a suppressor and a magazine already in it. So there we go. Hopefully, oh, and then, <laughs> I kind of missed out the most important bit. When you've edited your files and you've saved them, you upload them over the top of the existing file. So click upload, Upload them over to the CFG. Um, uh, what file was that again? That was the uh, CFG spawnable types. Upload that over the um, one in the main directory and then go into the DB directory and upload your uh, edited types.xml over the top of that one. Restart your server and those extra weapons will start to spawn in. Um, and hopefully the players on your server will have a better chance of finding them. Anyway, that's enough from me. Hopefully you found that video useful. If you have hit like, if you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.